and go. We've got a lovely Southland Brown here. Just look at the depth on that. That's an incredible fish. And on the new Stalker Legend, nine foot six fast action, it's just great fun. You can really subdue these fish and that's what you need. In a place like New Zealand, when you're talking big fish, this is absolutely ideal for it. Look at the depth on that. Just an incredible fish. And uh, we might send him on his way so that when you come over to New Zealand on one of our trips, we might introduce you to him as well. Yep. That worked out pretty well. I'm Gavin from Hurley Fly Fishing and today we're in uh, magnificent South Island of New Zealand. We're just up from Lums Lumsden on a little stream that flows into the Aridi and it's got a couple of trout in it too. So that was a brown that I've seen just on the edge and uh, we've got a little nymph underneath a blowfly pattern and he thought that looked all right so that's pretty good there. I think it'd be a reasonable fish. I think all, all the fish in New Zealand they uh, get born three pound and just grow bigger and I think he's one of those ones so we'll just try and uh, we want him to fight against us so we want him fighting into the current so not too much pressure on him there'll be a reasonable fish just try and keep the line as short as possible really nice brown actually he's a bit yeah might be a little bit bigger than what he looked I'd guess and say five pound just by seeing his head. Great little fish, great little fish. He's gonna take off in a second, I think. Yep. And all you can do is just keep the pressure on. It's taken a little while to get, so you don't want to rush things, particularly at this netting stage. So if he wants to lunge, just let the rod, you get a good rod, something like a stalker glide, it's got a nice action and it's a six weight. And that's what you need over here in New Zealand, because you're throwing quite often a couple of flies and you're going to be dealing with pretty big fish. Even though it's a quite a small stream, you're going to have some pretty good fish in it. So you want something like that, like a good six weight, and uh, that'll bring him undone. Nope. Yep. That's the thing, when you've got a big fish like that and he, he wants to go, you just got to let him go. You've got good tippet. I tend to use about six pound tippet because you're dealing with pretty big fish. And you can see there's a lot of uh, willows, trees and rocks. So you want to be able to hang on to him. Just worn him down a bit and into a quieter little spot now. Makes it easier to net. We want his head up, and we've got, we always want to try and go head first, and bang, we get him in there. So that's a, uh, a lovely little uh, brown from the uh, a river that just flows into the Ariti, and uh, he liked that little nymph. He's not a bad fish too, so uh, what do we guess at? We guess at four and a half, so it's not a bad, uh, not a bad way to start. 
We've got a beautiful, uh, beautiful brown, and it's a male with that hook jaw, like the Aussie beer belly. But the uh, male trout get a hook jaw. But in beautiful condition, lovely spots. You know, it's just a, an incredible fish, and New Zealand's full of them. Beautiful. Like with all of them, just uh, hold him up, current, and uh, just you'll wait till he kicks. If you just hold him by the tail there, once he's ready to go, he'll let you know, and he'll uh, sit up straight, swim out. Beautiful. We're good. Perfect. And that's uh, yeah, terrific. Need to go and find another one now.